kabisa nabaki peke yangu unabaki nyumbani nikajihisi mpweke nikajihisi ni kama nimefeli mm. na nilifikiri hiyo ndo kufeli ya mwisho mm. sasa ile kufeli nilifeli vizuri deno tuende, tuende ni hapa. kwa macho ya wakenya wote mm-hmm. Ulin let down. <laughs> karibu karibu rafiki wetu ukatike pale. <laughs> eh? Karibu rafiki wetu ukatike. Tulikuwa na matumaini makubwa sana kwa huyu binti. Mm. Huyu binti alinifanya nikeshe. Tumpeleke nyumba kidogo. Eh? Tuana tu, 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 mali ilianza. Ah, uh, huyu binti sikumjua mimi tangu totoni, hatukuzaliwa maeneo mamoja nilimjua kimaflu kimafluki tu yani Mungu alikuwa ameipanga kwamba tukutane kabisa mm-hmm. eneo moja laitwa Mtopanga mm-hmm. Mtopanga iko Kisauni mm-hmm. em, Kisauni eneo bunge lile kuna rafiki yangu ambaye ni mtangazaji wa redio hadi sasa pwani mm-hmm. FM anaitwa Arnold mm-hmm. Munga mm-hmm. Arnold Munga alipokuwa yofanya kazi pale pwani FM mm-hmm. mimi ilikuwa nafanya kazi kama afisa wa mauzo Cusco Limited mm-hmm. Kenya Union of Savings and Cooperative Society na unaijua sana deno wanake wale nyote ni wahifadhi wa fedha kabisa, kabisa 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 sasa tukao majirani pale huwa wakati bado nimemfuata yule rafiki yangu nikamwambia mimi wewe unanijua tulisoma naye yule mm-hmm. shule ya upili mm-hmm. alafu akaponyoka kidogo alikuwa mkora mkora yule mm-hmm. <laughs> najua umeokoka ni, ni, ni pasta sasa hii Arnold Munga Mungu akubariki yes, Mungu alikokutoa wewe Arnold Munga <laughs> Ataona huo ushuhuda. Kule shule kidogo kafukuzwa. <laughs> Akaenda shule nyingine mtwara mtwara kamalizia kule. Sasa tukapoteana pale. Nilipokuja kushtuka nimetoka Mtangazaji. Nairobi hiyo safari yote huko nyuma ambayo tumetoka. Uh, nimekosa kuwa mtangazaji, nimeingia mabara imenichosha nimeachana nayo nikajipata nimeingia kwenye vyama vya akiba na mikopo sacos mm. lakini hapo kwa kwa mabara haukutumalizia tutarudi lakini tutarudi hapo e, safi mm. tutarudi kidogo Kabisa. pale mm-hmm. sasa nikarushwa Mombasa mm-hmm. e, nikawe afisa pale wa mauzo kwa, kwenye Cusco ndo hapo nikapatana na Arnold Munga nilipotafuta nyumba bakarani na yeyeishi mtopanga mm-hmm. E, nikamwambia bro ah. nishike mkono Kabisa. nataka niwe mtangazaji pia mimi kama wewe unajua ndoto zetu Julia ndoto bado iko mm. tulikuwa sote shule ya upili inaitwa Lutangani mm. naam iko huko Kilifi akanambia mm. mtakusaidia mm. utanisaidiaje akanambia si wewe unajua biblia eh si unajua kuimba eh na umekuwa tukifundisha watoto wa Sunday school kuimba eh nitakuwa nakualika kila Jumapili kama mchambuzi wa muziki kwenye studio kwenye studio no. e, we no. utakuwa unakuja tuacheza mm. mziki mm. alafu wewe unaniambia tu muziki uko kigani uko mm. not gani <laughs> upuzi upuzi tu <laughs> lakini uko pale lakini tu kwa studio tu pale tu kwenye studio ba you need Iyo. such friends ili msaidia you need ah. such people guys yeah. kabisa yeye yeah, alinambia wewe they invite you on the table man mm. eh? alinialika bila mkataba kabisa. akasema mm. wewe njo nikifutwa kazi kwa sababu nimekualika wewe acha nifutwe na kwa unaandika kila jumapili kweli mimi naja pale na unaenda pale unachambua ah anachambua mziki hey. nasema hiyo ki iko makosa unajua <laughs> deno hebu shikilia tano kwanza sasa hii ndo it, it, it's making a lot of sense hey. yeah. wakati wote mimi najaribu kuimba uh-huh. loft lazima anyama aninyamazishe anambia koja 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 hey. nataka hey. wanze na soprano hey. ashi no mwanaume alijua nini sasa mwanaume uimbaje umetoa wapi deno hey. ili bidi research music uh-huh. nianze kuangalia keys ni ngapi notes ni ngapi mm. melody inakwenda namna gani maana hiyo ndio kazi umepewa sasa lazima kila jambo pili nikawe mwerevu nikawe mkaza kazi hey, hey, hey. wenyewe alienda music school mimi nawatoa makosa <laughs> mchamba muzi wa mambo ya muziki sasa mchambua muziki na kuambia mtu akisikia hivi anasema tuangoje Jumapili mchambuzi wa muziki aje ili nisaidie sasa mimi nimeenda kwa Arnold Munga tuenda kupanga kipindi cha Jumapili analeta mwanamuziki yupi mziki wake hasa alikuwa ananipatia CD wakati huo ni CD ananipatia CD nikaisikize ndo nijue mziki wa ule jamani je ni uchambe chambe pale studio ukifika siku yake uchambue kabisa huyu naye ndo akaje hapa pale nyumbani na mimi sasa ni uh, kakake Arnold uh-huh. rafiki yangu anaitwa Michael Liena. Uh-huh. Michael Liena tumekulia tume pamoja no. tukatoka watoto wadogo 
kikilifi naam naam akaniambia niko na kakangu uh-huh. ule Arnold uh-huh. twende tukamsalimie nyumbani no. sote tuishi mtopanga mm-hmm. mm. sasa kuja ndo akanipata sasa tukapiga pige gumzo pale kido kidogo ndo nilikuwa na uzunguko um, hey, Arnold bana shukrani Arnold bana shukrani Arnold ndo alinikutanisha na umu na mimi na Poliana sasa yena nafikiri alimwambia kakake kwamba huu binti anataka kuwa mtangazaji mm, no. unaona mm-hmm. so katika hiyo hali e, ndo kuzungumza zungumza e, tukajiona kaambia huo wakati mimi nilikuwa tayari niko na nia kwamba nafikiri nilikuwa tanshapeana resignation kwamba natoka kitu kama hicho a ulikuwa KTN e, mm. sasa e, sasa e, he, exactly so mm. niliporudi pale kukutana yule bwana nimeenda kuwatembelea tayari nilikuwa nishavuka nimeingia kwa KTN sasa ndo kukumbushana tulikotoka kanambia huu bwana hata mwanzo tulikuwa naye sasa hii amfika KTN kwa hivyo sasa ushaingia utangazaji nishaingia sasa mm. eh ndo nakutana na huyu kwamba basi huyu ataka kuwa kama wewe msaidie ndo nikamwambia kiwango nilicho siwezi msaidia na huyu ni Arnold amekushikilia mpaka ukaingia KTN ama KTN umeingia mm. sasa Arnold Arnold alikuja Arnold alinchochea kunchochea kwa Arnold kukanifanya ni kokusko lakini mguu mmoja ndani mmoja nje mm. unaona katika hiyo harakati ikafika wakati nikapigiwa simu huku Nairobi Naam. na rafiki zangu ambao walikuwa nimetrain nao certificate kwa NGO fulani ya production ya radio na TV wakanambia njoo Nairobi kuna Naam. kazi imetoka unaona ya miezi sita kandarasi nikaikataa akasema mimi nishaandikwa kazi bana nimeajiriwa mm. permanent and permanent kusko sasa kusko. Hey. Mm hakuna mkutano wa sako ambao unaanza bila loft matambo kuingia lazima awe pale afisa wa kusko afisa wa cooperatives unajua ya mambo no. eh, uh, CIC no. lazima no. wawe equity bank uh-huh. wawe maana yake hao ndo wanaweka pesa zao no. niende pale nisome hotuba yangu mimi kama afisa ndo ndo wafungue vitabu vyao vya hisabu <laughs> watoe hotuba zao sasa mimi najihisi kwamba mimi ni boss bana <laughs> Ah, Ni <laughs> pale mwanzo marupurupu tayari, yeah. mshahara utumii. Unaweza kuingia. Eh. Naam. Maana yake unaheshimika. Una Kupo alikuwa na vijipesa. Ah, mimi nilikuwa mtu mzito. Eh. eh. Ratba si ratba bila eh. lofti mtambo. Lazima uwe pale ndo ratba ianze. Eh. Sasa ikabidi ile kazi nijishushe bana. Uh-huh. So nikakataa ni kwanza nikasema hapana. Siwezi kuwa limepoa gari mimi napelekwa nyumbani na gari marupurupu hapo yeah. na nini mikutano yote nafanya kupelekwa uh-huh. hata mamangu akiwa mgonjwa ninachukua gari mimi naenda kumchukua yani niko sawa wame kushughulikia vizuri ah. kabisa sasa nikakataa ile kazi mimi ile ya KTN sasa ah si KTN hii sasa hii inaitwa ni kazi ya media development Mets. in Africa Midiva ni genie mtarishi wa vipindi lakini ni mkataba wa miezi sita nikasema asiwezi tana na hiyo Actually nilikuwa mkataba mwaka mmoja nikaukataa. Mm. Yule bwana akanitafuta tena bwana. Mm. Akanambia akakaa baada ule mkataba kuisha akanambia lofti. Wewe ulivyokuwa na sisi ukifanya mafunzo tuliona wewe ndoto yako ni kubwa. Na kuita tena. Mm. Kuna mkataba mwingine wa miezi sita ukikataa huu shauri yako. Tumejaribu zetu. Media huwezi ingia mzima mzima mm. ni mwingize mguu mmoja mmoja. Mm. Njoo uanze. Mm. Nikafikiria tena Ah nikapiga moyo konde nikasema liwe liwalo. Mm. ndani. Nikaandika barua ya kujiuzulu kutoka kampelekea boss wangu eh. mm. nikamwambia nataka kuacha kazi. Mm. Umepata kazi nyingine. Akaniambia yeah. umepata mshahara mkubwa akamwambia aah hata ninachukua pay cut. Mm. Kanambia, are you serious? Nikamwambia mshahara na kwenda kulipwa ni kidogo kuliko huu. Pia ni mkataba ule wa miezi sita tu lakini ni kazi ambayo nimeitamani kwa miaka wacha niende ini passion sasa hey, unafuata passion sasa aniuliza kwanza uko, uko sawa hapa mm. angalia wenzako vile walivyokuwa huko wame, wamekwea juu uko sawa nikamwambia niko sawa na nyota yako huku inang'aa kwa hivyo hata hey. unaweza endelea hey. mm. nikamwambia niko sawa lakini hii inaichukulia kama comfort zone mm. itaniulia ndoto yangu mm. wacha nikateseke ndo nitafute ninachokitaka usipotimiza ndoto mm. yako utazidi kuota mm. kabisa mm. eh, sema hivyo tena usipotimiza ndoto yako utazidi, utazidi kuota kwa sababu unalala unaota tu yani inakuuma mm. fanya mm. ndoto yako mm. mm. kwa hivyo nikatoka akaniambia sawa akanibariki akaniambia nakuombea kila laheri we nenda nikaja ndo nikaanza ile kazi nikapiga sasa hapo ni KTN hapo ndivyo ulizo ah bado ni Comediva sasa ni Medivo mwingine eh, contract ile ilikuwa inakaribia kuisha bado mwezi mmoja Jalali ya Sielala kanijalia ndo nikapata mkataba wa KTN mm. kwa hivyo ndikuwa wasiwasi wangu ni je huu mkataba ukisha tunaelekea wapi narudi Kusko mm. naenda wapi na kiherere changu cha kutaka kuwa mtangazaji <laughs> <laughs> so 
kabla tu mwezi mmoja uishe. Nakwambia Denol kwa mbaki mwezi hivi. Ndio sasa mkataba uishe kila mtu ambaye fata shughuli zako. Mm. Ndio nikapata mkataba wa KTN. Mm. Ndio nikakwenda sasa nikaanza kule ndio nikakutana na huyo binti mm. nilipokuwa nimerudi Mombasa kusalimia jamaa na marafiki. Kabisa. Mm. Kuambia sasa nashukuru niko kule sasa. Ndio nikamwambia basi na saa hiyo mm. advertisement ya the presenters season imetoka. Two, mm. KTN imetoka. Mm. Imetoka. Mm. Ndio nikamwambia kuna advert mm. ya the presenter jaribu. Jaribu. Lakini nakupa siri fanya Kiswahili manake alikuwa anajifanya huwa anataka kunitoa rangi eti ni mzungu sana kuliko mimi. Kile kizungu cha kutoka na mapua. Mimi mimi amen aviation na mwende time was na aviation but I'm in day star. Nikamwambia hiki kizungu chako hakita kupeleka pale. Bila namba hiyo de no. Alimwambia hivyo tu. Alimwambia hivyo alimwambia ukifanya kizungu hata tusiongee. Na huku kati. Nilimwambia mimi niko tayari kukufunza lakini mimi mwenyewe sijui Kiingereza. Changu ni kufunza swahili. Changu cha kuombea chumvi. Mm. <laughs> Siwezi kupa nsicho nacho. Kabisa uh, Yesu Kristo mwenyewe alisema nini? Hey, Fedha na dhahabu sina, sina. Lakini, lakini kwa jina nani? Alikuwa Yesu alikuwa alikuwa wafuasi wa Peter na John. Petero na Yohana. Alikuwa Petero na Yohana. Kwa kumwambia akawa Fedha na dhahabu hatuna ewe kiwete mm. lakini kwa jina la Yesu simama we Uende. kwa hivyo mimi kamwambia Kiingereza sina mm. lakini nilicho nacho Kiswahili nitakupa mm. jifunze Kiswahili mm. utaingia the present na uzuri mm. mimi Kiswahili nilikuwa bora kabisa mm. kwa kuandika kwa kuzungumza Kuz, hata kuzungumza nilikuwa vizuri lakini sitaki kwa sababu kule pwani tumezoea kwamba sisi ni waswahili mm. tukiongea kizungu ndo tutaonekana kama tumefika mko na hadhi lakini tunasahau tunakuja Nairobi ambapo wazungu wapo mm. hawataki kusikia kizungu mm. so nikasikiza sasa kunifeli right, it, it's, it's also a big deal yes. Yes. sometimes just the adjustments you've got to make to get to where you need to go mm-hmm. is also important mara konga njipike kifuo sema mimi mimi kizungu kiswahili siwezi acha nijaribu kizungu but at least you listen to counsel na wakati huo deno nimeingia Desta tumeenda katika auditions mm. za kufanya radio kulikuwa mm. na Shine FM mm. nilianzia hapo kama mm. mtangazaji wa radio mm. na kumbuka nikienda kufanya interview nikakutana na mwanadada anaitwa Karo B mm-hmm. tulifanya naye kazi KTN mm. alikuwa mdosi wangu sasa tukiwa Desta mm. Karo kuingia mm. akaniambia Frida kama umekuja hapa kutafuta kazi ya kuwa mtangazaji wa kizungu sikupi This is a fellow student ambaye sasa ndio head of radio mm. akaniambia mimi nataka ufanye show ya Kiswahili mm. Kumbuka nilikwambia nilikutana na jamaa anaitwa Hassan eh. Mm. Sikuwa najua ta frequency. Ulo, vuzele, Kiswahili inaitwaje? Mm. Mm. Ndio nikapiga research mm. nikapata inaitwa Mitabendi. Mm. Wacha tuingie sasa katika ile audition. Mm. Eh hey, hey. Nilichapa link. Yeah. Unajua ukipata ile jina moja tu. Moja tu. Just one word. Una Just one word. Ile, ile point moja. Ile point moja. Mimi <laughs> 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 na issue ito point moja hii. Hizo siju tu ito point moja. Ile point moja. Sometimes you just need that one just, point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nilisema mitabendi wakaitikia wenyewe wakasema unahitaji kazi. Fanya kazi ya Kiswahili. Eh, fanya kazi ya mitabendi. Alafu na lofti ananiambia mama lazima utafanya Kiswahili. Mm. Sasa kabla hutujenda pale kwa kufeli hujamwambia Dennis remember lofti is a stranger to me. Right. Lakini tume exchange numbers. Mm. And, wa- and this is one thing I say confidently. Mm. Katika media industry mambo yameharibika. Kabisa. Mm. Utakutana na editor atakwambia mimi kukusaidia lazima ulale na mimi. Kabisa. You scratch my back I scratch Mm. Lofti alichukua nambari yangu mm. nikachukua nambari yake ya simu mm. I think competition ilikuwa in one week's time mm. nimepanda basi usiku ndio nifike KTN na asubuhi kutoka Kilifi kutoka Mombasa kutoka Mombasa mm. mm. Lofti mm. kwa basi ananitumia scripts na voice note as you're traveling as i'm traveling na ni usiku na kwambia nilikuwa nimekaa na mzee fulani wao mzee ni kama nini mimi sijui kama unanikumbuka mimi sikukumbuki lakini najua nilikuudhi samahani kwa sababu naongea na record ananiambia haya assume kumetokea sijui nini 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 record story kama reporter mm. natuma voice note kwa basi mm. na ni usiku mm. lofta ananitumia ananiambia haifanywi hivyo mm. ananirudishia Ana so mm. coaching yangu ya the presenter ilifanywa overnight kwa basi kwa basi na script iliyoniokoa mimi Mwenyezi Mungu alaze roho yake mahali pema mtoto wa Raila Fidel Castro Odinga alikuwa amefariki. So ndo tumalize sasa huu mdahalo wangu na lofti kwa sababu pia yeye lazima alale. Mm. Akanambia sasa na kutumia scripts. Hizi ndo scripts za wanahabari. Mm. Just have an idea cuz ujui kesho kwenye interview utaulizwa nini. Mm. Akanambia lakini hii ya Fidel mm. it's the breaking news. So at least Pambana have me. it on your fingertips. Mm. Sasa ndo nikaisoma ya mwisho akanitakia kila laheri 
kesho mimi nikaenda competition nilifika KTN saa 12 asubuhi nilikuwa kwa line number 532 Ooh vijana wanatafuta kazi saa 12 na kwa namba 532 mimi nimesafiri sasa usiku wote kutoka Mombasa nimefika asubuhi najua mimi ndio nitakuwa wa kwanza mm. but also guys how you present yourself mm. how you you dress right. that's how you will be addressed right. nakumbuka niliingia kwa gate ngakutana na kina DJ Croba mm. kina Anthony Ndiema mm. ule mwanadada pia alikuwa anafanya tukuza mm. au ashitiva ashitiva au ndio alikuwa anakaribisha watu mm. Mm. nilikuwa nimevalia rinda nyeu ya uh, nyekundu mm. na koti tu mm. Mm. niliingia hivi kroba na mdomo wake akasema this girl will go through he picked you from the crowd mm. he picked me nikiingia from the dressing. From the dressing. dressing just how you presented yourself how was this dress right akasema hata alikuja kabisa akanambia hi akia wishing you all the best maka kendi akakuja antony sije kama wanakumbuka wakanambia you you will be chosen wow Nani and they didn't know you. They didn't know me. They were just drawn by how you came. Sasa kakaleno huwa kwa na bahati. Maana kitu kimoja pia ambacho kilinifanya ni sukume apenye. Mimi mm. mwenyewe nilijaribu the presenter season 1. Wewe <laughs> mwenyewe. Mimi mwenyewe. Sasa nikasema mwenzangu huyu aja. Mimi ili nishinda the presenter wacha tujaribu. Haikumshinda. <laughs> Ilifika loft ndio ndio. Mimi nilifungiwa lango. Point moja hivi. <laughs> Ile tu ilikuwa jamhuri grounds. <laughs> Yetu ndo alichukuliwa mtangazaji kama unamjua anaitwa Idi Kimani. Namjua sana. Mtangazaji mbomba kabisa paka akaishia viwango vya kimataifa. Mm. Kabisa. Kaka mimi nilikuwa tulipatiwa zile kadi nilikuwa nambari 502. Ah, tujakatangu Momanyi. Matias Momanyi mbili mtangazaji wa KBC alikuwa 101 na moja. Mm-hmm. Walikuwa wanataka watu 500. <laughs> Tulifungiwa na <laughs> <laughs> Alafu sasa hawa ali nasema history ni kama nilikuwa na wao. <laughs> hawa sasa ndio walikuwa waswahili. <laughs> Wanasikia wengine wanaenda wanasema huyu atajui kitu. Tule tulikuwa tunaongea watu wanakuja kutuangalia tukipiga <laughs> swahili. Wanasema hawa ndio wanatakikana kule Kabisa. <laughs> Yule jamaa mswahili ameiva na mimi tukipiga Kiswahili tupiga zoezi. Kumbe pale kwenye kadi bwana ndo kwenye mtihani. Kwa hivyo hatukupata nafasi ya kufanyua usaili. Audition ilifika hivi tukafunga mbale wakati ndio Momanya yeah. alikuwa ingie Momanya alikuwa ingie alafu mimi niwe nyuma yake <laughs> ukakatwa kaatwa kwa hivyo sikufanywa audition so Momanya aliingia huko kama ingia hata hakuingia Momanya 100 na 1 mimi 500 na 1 mimi 500 na 2 mimi 500 na 500 ndo nambari ya mwisho <laughs> Ile ile, ile moja kadi ile ile moja imekuvua tena hii. Ile, ile, <laughs> ile kadi nilikana nayo kwenye sanduku langu ya the presenter mm. nilikana kwa miaka mingi ilikuja kunipotelea wakati fulani mm. niliweka hiyo kadi pamoja na barua ya mwito ya Kenya Institute Mas. of Mass Communication mm. hiyo pia nao niliweka kama kumbukumbu mm. maana niliitwa alafu nikakatazwa kwenda sababu ya hela mm. nikasema hii ni hifadhi inayoweka mm. nikiziangalia vitu nitakumbuka nataka kuwa mwanahabari mm. mm. zikukumbusha hey, zilikuwa za nikumbusha point moja wow. nakumbuka na pia tuli. mimi aliniambia ile point moja ya Fidel Castro mm. nikafanywa auditions kila kitu Ben Kitili Eric Latif ndo walikuwa my judges mm. wamenifanyia audition then ya mwisho Ben Kitili akasema assume sasa you are a news anchor mm. uko studio no. tupatie breaking news mm nakumbuka ile script ambayo loft amenitumia usiku usiku, usiku mimi wa manane nimeshinda nikikram mm. Fidel Castro Odinga mm. mwanawe ilikuwa kinara wa ODM Raila Odinga mm-hmm. nilifanya hiyo intro nikapiga hiyo script wakajua huyu anafuatilia habari kabisa mm. anaelewa breaking news mm. hakuna breaking news they know nilikuwa mm. naelewa mm. ni ile tu loft alinambia zingatia na nikapatiwa a straight card to the academy Kumbuka kuna wale walikuwa warudi wafanywe interview nyingine mimi nilipatiwa a straight Express. card to the academy. Ilikuwa blue ama ilikuwa blue. Blue card. But that sometimes it's not the script. Bro. Kama hata hiyo. Nilikupigia simu I was very excited eh. Nikamwambia loft ni make it ni make it. Kwa sababu ya mentorship ya siku ya usiku wa usiku overnight. Kwenye basi. In fact hata ile record unaisema kwa Mimi nakwambia unze nile kanaenda wana mone huruma. Mm. Kwa sababu Asa... yani yeye hey, yuasinzia hata mimi nimeangalia. Wewe wasoma habari. Unajua lazima ni toa sauti ndio ndio anitumie ya kutuma usikize. Eh. Hasa kitu kilichonikasirisha na hama tatizo yake ya, ku, ya kwamba akifeli anatatizika. Mm. Alikwenda vizuri tuwasaidiana na ni update nini akakwenda paka akaingia top 5. Na mm. ulitoka namba ngapi? Out of 6000. Mm. Alisonga. 
hasa pale mwisho kutolewa ndo alikata kuniambia kwamba ametolewa <laughs> amevunjika labda panic panic <laughs> deno reality show si mimi ngoje ni muone kwa tv wale wa mwisho wale kumbe yashatolewa mm. wale watano mwisho mm. kwa hivyo walikuwa wanataka watu wawili mm. walikuwa wanataka mmoja wa kusoma habari mmoja wa kufanya burudani so yeye hakufanikiwa kwa wale watu wawili again mimi mm. kuna mahali nili panic Mako ngeniuliza jina langu singekwambia. Juu sasa tension ni. Cuz this is a reality show. Right. So they will, you, you understand media will try and get drama left right and center. Right, right. And and sometimes me they know anasema kwamba sengine pia watu tunakimbilia mambo lakini bado Mungu anatufinyanga. Mm. Tunasema ni finyange niwe jinsi upendavyo. Mm. You know we just lift up our hands in church tukiimba huu wimbo ni finyange. Mm. Lakini ukifikiria kama uko tayari kufinyangwa uko tayari. Kwa ni wimbo tu unaimba. No yeah. mimi nilifinyangwa sasa. Kwa sababu Mungu alijua huyu mtoto anataka mm. kuwa mwanahabari. Mm. Lakini wanahabari si kupaka makeup no. na kuslay na ile rinda ya dread no. na kuingia tu na kusema so in its maturity. Mm. I was pretty young. Right. I could not sustain any disappointment. Right. Singetaka kuambiwa hujui mm. kwa sababu nilikuwa najua mimi nimekuwa mtoto wa kupata ushindi. Mm. Kwa hivyo pale nilipanic, mm. nikafeli, mm. nikapatiwa mpaka a job opportunity. Right. At KTN. Mm. Kwanza kuwa reporter nikakataa. Maana hivyo vilikuwa vita vingine. Huyu mm. yasema mimi siwezani na mambo ya habari. habari. Mimi namwambia so, habari ndio itakuokoa. Mm. Entertainment imejaa watu mm. tayari. Mm. Huku kwa habari ndio wengi, wengi wanakuogopa. Yeye anasema anataka mziki mm. ya kuruka majoka hivi aseme haya huyo ni wiz kid ni nyumba gani zilikuwa wakati ndo zina zina wika wika huyo ni yemi alade aje kwa pande ya sarakasi namwambia habari kilia manani hapo habari hapo hapo lakini yeye anaangalia vipi kwa sababu ya kuvunjika moyo kuvunjika mara mbili mpaka anapatiwa kazi kabisa na kataa kile kile ni kitu kinaitwa straight up ama anataka kuja straight up sio aje Bazuka music. Mali kuna tamasha hapo ndio nataka. Sasa hii lakini naye burudani anapenda na anajua. Ilibidi sasa isahau kidogo kwa sababu Mungu alimuita kuwa msomaji habari. Ilikuwa pia sasa. And I think you listened. You listened. And that's very key. Listen. Listen and be ready to learn. Kwa sababu deno kusema ile kweli mimi katika tasnia wa habari mm. kuna watu ambao niwaangalia mm. na lofti ni mmoja wao mm. hata mwenye anajua mm. i look up to him right. na ndio maana sasa pia ni changamoto kwake mm. haezi enda hivi hivi mm. kwa sababu kuna watu ambao anamtazama and he's aware he is he's aware. you know for me i actually told him you will have to teach me right you know na amenifunza mm. amenifunza kabisa mpaka yani sasa mimi ni kufrida mm. mimi si frida kanzedena mm. kwa sababu kuna wakati mwingine ambao tunaangalia kio mm. kwa sababu mnampenda kanzedena sasa unaanza kuongea kama kanzedena unaanza kuvaa kama kanzedena unaanza na uwezi kuwa yeye lofta alinifunza kujitofautisha yupo kanzedena mm. ambao na muenzi na kumpenda mm. yupo lofti matambo mm. ambao na muenzi na kumpenda mm. lakini kuna frida mwaka mm na wewe ndio tunataka wewe. Na imekuwa safari deno kuingia KTN. Mm. Hehe he, na kufika hadi sasa NTV mm. ni Mungu. Hiyo safari imekuwa aje? Eh hey, jamani, situruke huko kwanza. Tupige tama la mai. La la shaka. Tandika kitu tandika gani? Eh. Lakini love na Julisa si ni pressure sana kujua kwamba kuna wengi wanakutazama, mm. wengi wanakuenzi, mm. wanaangalia njia zako. Mm. Lazima iko ni pressure kiasi sana 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 alafu mimi sasa um, tatizo kubwa mimi kwangu nilichanganya mara mbili mm. kwa sababu mbali na kufanya tasnia wanahabari na kutamanisha watu mm. kwamba wanataka kuwa kama mimi nilichanganya na huduma mm. hapo sasa ndo shinikizo lilizidi mm. kwa sababu nilipoingia KTN mm. mimi mapenzi yangu ya kwanza alikuwa redio mm. e, na lakini sasa nilipoitwa KTN nafasi ya kwanza ikafunguka ikawa ni ya runinga, runinga. Mm-hmm. lakini baadaye na mkunuka kaka Anton ndiye makanifuata maana yake ilikuwa nimemfuata kitambo akiwa Hope FM and zile amebariki wengi Anton ndiye amebariki wengi sasa ilikuwa nimemfuata kule nikamwambia naomba kaka unipe nafasi hata moja tu niwe mtangazaji wa kwanza walipiga hii show akiwa Anton ndiye na Kendi ya Sitiva tukuza tukuza mimi nilifanya kabisa nakumbuka kwanza nakwambia bwana kama kuna kipindi wengi wanakikumbuka na watakitamani kabisa 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 Mm-hmm. Sasa akanipa nafasi mm-hmm. akanambia mimi nipo hapa na kwa sababu niko nasimamia redio. Mm-hmm. E, uko tayari kurauka. Mm-hmm. Unaweza kuamka saa 9 mm-hmm. usiku ngapi na kuamka tu. 
bora mimi nasikika kwenye redio watu wakitaka mm. sana nitaamka mm. mm. basi nikawa napiga tv mm. nikimaliza na rauka naja kufanya redio kabisa redio ilikuwa sasa ni huduma maana mm. kinahubiri mm. nacheza muziki um, injili kwa hivyo sasa maisha yangu lazima yange kwa kio kabisa e, ninachozungumza ninachofanya kiendani na ninachosema kwenye redio lazima ziambatane kabisa basi mm. kwa hivyo pressure ilikuepo mm. lakini nashukuru Mungu aliniidhinisha mm. akanitoa <coughs> uh, ile roho ya kujiona nimefika mm. eh, jigambo yeah, eh, yeah. akanipa unyenyekevu yeah. Na, na mimi nimetamani sana kuwa mwanahabari wa hiyo aina mm. e, kwamba mimi watu nawafikia ni watu wa vijijini mm. na taarifa zangu nikaanza kufanya ni za vijijini watu mm. tushangae mm. deno kimbera mm. madare wapi na kadhalika mm. e. mm. sasa e, nafikiri hiyo pia imenisaidia kwamba sijajiweka pahali ambapo mm. mwenye nitashindwa kuhusiana na watu vizuri e, kwa sababu mm. mimi ni kama wale mm. e, so pressure imekuwa lakini Nashukuru Mungu ameniibinisha. Lakini inakuwa ni positive pressure pia. Manake mm. inakukumbusha kila wakati. Mm. Manake kuna wale wananitazama lazima mweleke wangu we njia fulani. Mm. I think it keeps you in the straight and narrow as well. Deno deno watu usahau walipotoka. Mm. Kabisa. Na kuna jambo moja lofti, mimi na loft watu tunasema kwa sababu mm. as we talk, we are mm. good friends, mm. we talk every day. Yes. Na watu tunasema ikifika mahali ambapo tutajihisi ama mimi nitahisi kana kwamba mwenzangu kiburi kimeanza kumuingia mm. ama mimi kiburi kimeanza kuniingia mm. tujite mkutano. Mm. Kweli. Na kusema kweli deno sisi ujiita mkutano. Mm. Aya nafikiria ni juzi tulikuwa na huo mdahani. Eh, sisi ujiita mkutano mm. kabisa tunakaa chini, mm. tunajichambua, mm. tunakosoana mm. kwa sababu that's true friendship, right. you know. Right. Wakati mimi nikienda kanisani na mwana lofti akipiga magoti, akinua mikono, mm. akitoa machozi, mm. akim akimwabudu Mwenyezi Mungu, Mungu kabisa unasema kweli huu ni mtu ambaye anajua kwamba hajafika pale ambapo amefika mm. kwa sababu ya nguvu zake mm. kwa sababu hili jina ni kubwa deno sikudanganye mimi wanatembea na huyu hata hujafika wapi matambo matambo lofti matambo matambo kabisa. na ni rahisi sana kiburi mm. kuingia kikuingie kabisa na kuna kweli ambayo tutaenda mimi sitatajwa mm. ni rahisi sana wivu mm. Uniingie kabisa. Mm. Kuna kwingine pia tutaenda hata tajwa. Mm. Ni rahisi pia wivu kumuingia. Mm. Lakini we are not called for. Kwa hivyo either ni kiburi ama ni wivu. Ni wivu. Yeah. Aidha ya moja hizo yeah. itaingia. Na hizo vitu mbili mbona yuajulikana huyu eh. kuliko mimi? Kabisa, eh. kabisa. Sinamaliza yeah. industry. Kibaya sana. Si wivu kiburi. Mm. Wivu kiburi. Mm. Uingie na kiburi ama uone wivu mwenzako. Mm. Mm hata influencers zimeona wengi hicho ndo kinawaua hilo ni zito yeah. hilo ni zito influencers mm. wanamalizwa na hilo mm. in fact that was our discussion with him right. tunasema kwamba sisi ni marafiki lakini nasikia kinyo, kinyongo nikiona client anakuja kwako ah. haja haja niongelesha basi mm. 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 na sote mm. labda tulikuwa tumtaka sote tulitaka hii airline mm. iwe na tusponsi na tuzungushe Kenya nzima mm. mbona wamemchukua Frida haja nichukua ah, mbona wamemchukua mimi wamemwacha Frida and how do you deal with that because those are real issues accountability At what point are you able to tell I think we need to have this conversation? Is it that then you feel something is changing in how you How do you actually tell that either kiburi ama wivu imeanza ku How do you tell? Nafikiri mwanadamu unajijua. Eh unajijua kuna ile CPU iko ndani yako. Na inakuambia eh kama kuna fuse imechomeka huo unajua. Labda upuuze tu. Itakwambia kabisa uko ndani motherboard inaanza kuongoza. Sasa wewe mwenyewe ndio utataka kunyamazia. Mm. Na sisi huwa tuangaliana. Sasa uzuri pia ni vyema sana uwe na rafiki wa dhati. Mm. Mm. Usijifanye kwamba wewe ni kisiwa peke yako au mm. umezingirwa na maji utaki marafiki. Mm. Hasa mimi nashukuru Frida kwa sababu um, sisi huwa tuangaliana. Mm. Akipotoka na mwana mwambie amaidia hapa mm. kidogo umekwenda ndivyo sivyo. Mm. 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 Hata kwa afisi mm. eh, una anavyoshirikiana wengine anamwambia pale yale uliongea mm. sio ni kama anaambia ukiwa kwenye watu wengi kama vile usiongee hiyo ataongea moja mbili tatu ukiwa hivi na mimi pia nikifanya hapo anaambia anaambia lofti kwa nini pale umefanya hivi anaoka safari yetu kumbuko unakokwenda kumbuko unakotamani baadhi ya vitendo kama vile sioni kama vitakupeleka vizuri na pia sisi ni wa Kristo roho wa Mungu Holy Spirit hata ukifanya ile consciousness yako tayari utajua atakwambia hapo umefanya hapa bana lakini pia they know something else ambapo pia labda watu wengi wa hawaelewi na rafiki wetu pia katika uhusiano na urafiki mm. kuwe na heshima mm. mimi loft is my boss mm. at work he's your boss he's my boss tuko na mdosi wetu mm. he's also an editor mm. i am not an editor mm. i'm a reporter mm. and a news anchor mm. so he he assigns me right lakini sasa siwezi nikaingiwa na kiburi niseme sitafanya mm. ama ni muonyeshe wewe ni rafiki yangu nimpuuze i respect the authority mm. upon him right so akiniambia 
Frida as a reporter mm. nataka ufanye hii story na uifanye hivi na mm. hivi mm. yes sir you follow instructions in as much as tunasoma habari pamoja mm. as anchors yes. lakini bado pia I respect him. Right. Na watu wengi wamepoteza urafiki kwa sababu wameingiza mzaa. Mm. Mzaa kazini mm. na mazoeano. Mm. Upatie mtu heshima yake. Mm. Mimi ananiheshimu mm. kivi yangu. Mm. Kuna wakati ambapo by the way it's, it's not smooth for us. Mm. Sisi uko sana. Sioni, sioni hapo 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 niko na struggle hapo. Hapo sioni vile mnaweza kuwa mnaka sana. Sisi uko sana. Yeye urafiki yenu bana mbuzi kwa mpaka. Majembe mawili. Sisi kwa Ruzana. Nini nini wawili? Actually sijui kama it, it made sense to him but the reason to one during election yeah. tulikuwa Ruzana kwa sababu ya kikombe mm. on air. Hapo <laughs> <laughs> paka nili unajua nilijiita mkutano. Nikashindwa jameni yani uh, yani karibu ni ni, ni mje mwambie yani dear hii safari yetu yote ambayo tumetembea tukakuja kukusana na kikombe leo. <laughs> <laughs> And it actually you could tell on air. Eh, it was for real. Eh, ah. mimi okay niliondoa ni lakini niliona it was real. Uzito uliendelea. It, it was because you Paka. see okay the thing is eh tunatangaza habari eh. number one, tumechoka mm. election season was just you guys moved all over the yeah. yes. and then i think we also doing long hours, long hours yeah. yes, tuko yes, na wageni yes. nini mm. tare umechoka akili mm. meza ambazo tunatumia kidogo zinasonga songa mm. tuko na chai hapo mm. mara mimi nagonga maye anagonga kichwa kisa cha pili kisa cha, cha kikombe hiki sasa <laughs> ah, oh um, kuna cha kwanza cha kwanza cha, cha pili nita kumwaga maji studio <laughs> Ema sasa utakwa chakwa ama sangu ile kwa kesi. Tumechapishwa vikombe pale vinaitwa maamuzi. Maamuzi 2022. Kila mtu akapewa kikombe chake. Sasa baada ya habari baada baada kusoma habari kumaliza kila mtu anaondoka na kikombe chake akakifungie kwenye loka yake. Unaona? Mimi na yeye tuko na loka moja. Na kila mtu ana ufungo wake lakini loka ni lile moja. E, lakini saa zingine yeye alikuja akapoteza ufungo wake wakati fulani. Na sasa yuko poteza wangu. Eh. Ana watu kuja therapy. Isho ibe ibe tumechukua mkono tofauti. Alipopoteza ufungo tukakosana. Unaona? Ni kampa wangu. Unaona? Nikampa wangu baadaye akapata wake. Akanregeshia zote nikapoteza. So huwa sengine haweki kikombe chake pale yeah. pale ndani mimi naweka. No. Sasa ilipofika asubuhi yake unajua lazima tuingie hewani na vile vikombe. No. Uh, mimi kaenda kufungua loka nikatoa kikombe changu. No. Unaona? Kupanda juu nikamuuliza kikombe chako iko wapi? No. Unajua lazima sisi ni pacha bana. Hey, lazima, lazima, lazima lazima vikombe viwe viwili. No. Akaniambia mimi sioni kikombe changu. Nikamwambia hey, wewe uko careless sana. Kwa nini umepoteza kikombe? Ama umeacha makeup room? akasema mimi sijui wetu taenda tu hivyo nikamwambia kama huna basi pia mimi nitakiacha unaona hatuwezi yeah. hatuwezi lakini yeah. sasa nishawe maji tayari mimi nanywa maji moto ye baridi mm. nisheka tayari maji yangu moto no. kido kidogo alipogeuka hivi akaona kikombe chake kiko na lipstick kumaanisha ni chako mwana yake huna lipstick kaka sasa unajua inawezekana i think this feels like a marriage story sasa inawezekana mimi nikamwambia hiki kikombe we labda tulipofika makeup room ulitoa kikombe changu ukaonja maji yangu ndio ukanipakia nini hii lipstick yako anasema pana ulichukua kikombe changu nikamuuliza eh, tangu lini ukaanza kutumia lipstick brand gani actually aliniuliza ile swali na nikaona ni swali la kejeli nikanikasirisha Uliniuliza uliniuliza makeup artist was there akasema uh-huh. since when did you start applying lipstick unaona yes. yeah. nikamwambia eh ndio nikaangalia ah uko deje nikamwambia ah lakini dia mimi libeba hichi kikombe paka makeup room nikamuuliza uh, masi wa makeup artist huku niona nimeingia na kikombe makeup room eh nilikuona na mizigo yangu yote eh huku niona natoka eh nilikuona sasa sijui kama uliacha chako kachukua cha Frida ama kulienda haku kutoka na chake studio ama, sasa hapo ndo ilikuwa ngoma ilikuwa ngoma nafikiri tulienda hewani karibu atuongeleshane alafu na sababu hiyo tuko na tuko na chemistry ya uh, kuna vile loft atazungumza mm. ama mimi nizungumze hewani mm. 
tutajua mm. mimi kuna vile nitazungumza atajua ni shamwa lat mm. maybe take it up mm. sasa hiyo siku mm. kila mtu anakaushia mwenzake na imagine we are there for like 5 hours ilikuwa struggle huwa anaongea unapiga kivyako na kupiga kivyako mm. unapiga ki haya ah, sengine director anasema okay guys we're coming back to you akifika kwangu nimenyamaza because i'm like oh dude you're the one to start any your tension ilisha tulipoenda lunch <laughs> tunakosanya kikombe <laughs> Siku iliyofuata sasa si tension ilikuwa ng heavy sana. Ah very ah. heavy. Sasa siku iliyofuata majaribu maji akamwagika wapi? Ambao alimwaga yeye. Ni wewe ndio ulikonga mezi. Alimwaga yeye. Mpaka wale in fact hata wewe nikukusha deno. Nilikuwa nasema hiyo siku eh. nitaenda eh. niambie director rewind. I want to see uko kwa gallery eh. Rew- kama wao mna record eh. tuone nani alimwaga hii maji. Eh. So tunaenda hewani Lofta akamwaga maji meza ikacha. Uligonga meza. Na mimi dia. anasema. Ndio uligonga meza ukamwaga maji. Sikuja ku fight kwa shoya dini. <laughs> <laughs> But in short, sisi upigana, sisi uko ruzana, lakini mm. kitu kimoja mbona naweza shukuru na urafiki wetu ni kwamba mm. hatujawahi lala mm. kama tumekasirikiana. Mm. 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 Sasa lazima tuonge. Lazima muonge. Lazima tu tuonge. Na ikifika wakati ambapo kiukweli tumechokana. Mm. Mm. We, we just take a break from, from mm. each other mm. like I, i will not talk to him for two Maybe days for five minutes mm. oh you can sustain for two days a it, day it, it affects us ngumu kupika na unakaba itakuwa sikia kwanza aisha sikia pili ni ngumu inakuwa itakuwa ni ngumu ah ngumu juu nyinyi ni kama mapacha ba alafu kuna vitu ambavyo vingi tunafanya nje ya kazi nje ya studio hivyo vitu haviwezi kusonga mbele kama tumenyamazia lazima muongee. Sasa decisions we need to make. Lazima, right. lazima. Right. 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 Man, I, I I think you guys have such an amazing journey. I think safari yenu ni tamu sana. And and it's very interesting just to look at you looking at him as a mentor. Yeah. Because then he's he, he's practically mentored you one yeah. or the other. Yeah. And uh, and and both of you then flowing such beautiful stuff, man. Such beautiful stuff. But let me just get a bit personal on your on your on, on your family beyond this family. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go beyond here. Oh here, wow. They know. It was up of it. Up up up. Guys, it's been a rap. Let's go there a bit. What do you want to know about that? Just beyond studio, beyond fam. Let's let's talk about your own families. You go first. You've been going fast. I don't know why you want no, me no, to no, go no. fast on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. Sijaelewa <laughs> uh, swali. Muulize swali. Muulize swali. Usiogope ukubwa wa samaki, uliza bei. Lakini tunaenda fami hata tujongea wajani. Hiyo <laughs> yote ilikuwa nini hiyo mbona? Yaani hujaanza jani. <laughs> <laughs> Labda kuna story hajapatiana bado. Muulize swali. Atakujibu. No, uliza tu. Majibu anayo. Unajua mentor ni vizuri mentor akianza. Eh? Amesema anataka kuanza na wewe lakini swali ndo haja kuuliza. Swali naweza rudia. Eh. No, I'm just asking the question of um, beyond beyond this watakujua kama kuna familia, kuna familia ama anapambana vipi na familia yake ama labda ako available mm. ama familia ndio hii saga eh. na hii maneno na mna hii unajua wewe unasaidia deno kuuliza haya maswali lakini bibi ni msaidie kaka mkaka usaidiane na shukran shukran okay kwanza kabisa kumekuwa na mkanganyiko na mtazamo tofauti tofauti kutoka kwa wafuasi wetu na watazamaji tukiwe tundika picha mtandaoni pamoja mimi na kichuna mm. um, tukienda kutembea labda katika mandhari tumesema tumekwenda holiday sengine tunaamua tu tuenda kufurahia na mm. rafiki zetu mm. maeneo fulani fulani mm. na wengi wanafikiria kwamba sisi ni kitu kimoja mm. sawa si kitu kimoja mm. kazini lakini wanafikiria zaidi ya kazini mm. wanafikiria kwamba si ni wapenzi mm. tumeoana na wengi wanasema pale jameni ndo aina endeleaje mm. mnakapa pamoja mnapendeza pamoja excuse me unasema you look together mm. i say you look good together <laughs> you look together 
we live together. We live together. Let's go pick another rich. Rafiki zangu sana. So um na sisi huwa tuna tuna wajibu vipi? Wakiuliza yale maswali. Mhm. Tunawaambiaje? Wote wajibu vipi? Huwa tuna wajibu. Kwani mtandao ni? Eh, hatujapenda kupambanua na kufafanua kabisa kabisa kama eh, kuna kwenda kwendaje kama we look together, yeah, yeah. Look together. lakini ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba sisi ni on air kapo mm. eh, huu mm. ndio ukweli wa mambo mm. kwamba sisi ni on air kapo mm. lakini kila mtu ana familia yake kando mm. mm. eh, mm. ana familia yake kando kama mimi kujizungumzia ni kwamba mimi na mtoto mm. Eh, na familia yangu kando na niko na mtoto mmoja mm. wa umri wa miaka mitano na ile miaka sita mm. eh, kwa hiyo mimi kikongwe mm. eh, Mungu amenijalia mm. na naendelea na maisha yangu kwa, ni vile sipendi sana kuanika kila kitu mitandaoni mm. imechukua muda sana watu ku kwa mimi ama kuelewa kwamba niko na familia uh, yangu binafsi na maisha yanasonga mbali na kazini kwa sababu uh, sijawahi tundika picha za familia kwamba ndio mimi hapa Hata nafikiri mtoto wangu nilimweka mtandaoni siku yake ya kuzaliwa. Uh, siku yake ya kuzaliwa na ilikuwa ni akiwa umri wa miaka 4. Mm. Mm. Akielekea mm. e, miaka 5. Hii ya mitano. Mm. Ndio niliweka picha yake mm. e, nikamtakia heri kwa umri wake wa miaka mitano. Ndio mm. tukashtuka ala ala ala. Kwa hivyo nafikiri tumejifunza kuficha mambo. Ile private inabaki private huko. Kabisa. Eh. Inabaki huko eh. kabisa. Eh. Kabisa. Eh. Okay. Hayo ndio machache ku mm. kuna mimi kando na e on air kapo mm. safi safi sijui frida utasema yapi hapo nafikiri ashasema lofty mm. kwamba kila mtu hapa kuna maisha yake kuna mm. familia yake na cha msingi ni kwamba hatupendi kuweka kwenye mitandao kwa sababu familia zetu hazijachagua mitandao mm. mitandao ni sisi ambao tuko kwenye mitandao mm. kwa hivyo kuna watu wengi sana ambao wanataka kujua zaidi ya kile ambacho tunaweka katika mitandao mm. lakini asha kumsima tu si nitasema fagia kwako mm fagia kwa mm. kwa jirani achana nako kwa jirani achana nako <laughs> sisi kile ambacho tunaweza weka kwenye mitandao tutaweka na kile ambacho kwa sasa kama hatuwezi kuweka kwenye mitandao hatutaweka kwa sababu tunaheshimu familia zetu mm. hawajachagua mitandao mm. wangechagua mitandao mm. wangejitosa kwenye mitandao wenyewe wenyewe, mm. wenyewe. Mm. kweli kabisa mm. kweli kabisa kweli kabisa na tukimalizia tukimalizia Man, safari hii ya KTN hapo ndio tulikuwa mm. Na nyote mlikuwa KTN. Imagine. Lakini hatuko KTN sasa. <laughs> Tuko mahali tofauti. <laughs> Sijui hii safari ilitokaje ikakuwa KTN tukajipata NTV leo. Matamanio na maono. Mhm. Mambo mawili. Mhm. Ni unasema mazito hapo awali ilikuwa ni kiburi <laughs> na wivu. Na, na wivu. Sasa tuko matamanio na maono. Na maono. maono. Ambayo yote yanamlenga lofti. Mhm. Mhm. Yote na <laughs> kwa matamanio yake. Mhm na mimi nikaonyeshwa maono kwamba atatoka aende NTV kabla aende kabla aende uliomba ama ikaje vitu kuna vitu kadhaa sitaki ku... mbona wao wafanye ikae kama mimi ndo najipigia debe <laughs> kuna vitu kuna, kuna kuna misimu na majira mm. ambayo mara nyingi sana ukiitambua utajua ni wakati gani wa kusonga na kusalia ulipo mm. kwa hivyo kil, kilifika mimi kipindi fulani nikahisi kwamba natamani neema tofauti mm. Uh, kwa sababu ndio hii huu msimu umekuisha mm. nahitaji sana kusonga mbele maana nilikuwa nimegonga miaka saba uh, pale KTN, pale KTN. Uh, na kikafika hicho kipindi nika nikabadilisha maombi nikawa namuomba Mwenyezi Mungu afanye jambo fulani tofauti mm. na wakati huo um, ulikuwa nafikiri ni mwezi Disemba mm kabla kwenda katika holiday yangu ya mwezi mm. Disemba Januari mm-hmm. kwa na mazungumzo kwa umbali kidogo um, nilipigwa simu tukafanya mazungumzo kidogo kuhusiana na upande ule wa pili ambao ndio tupo kwamba uh, nafikiri wakati ndio kuna watu washaanza kusonga wakienda mm. nyumba nyingine ambayo tutaitaja mm. mapengo kidogo kawa ameanza kutokezea mm. sasa kilichofanyika ikafika Januari Februari mm-hmm. Um, kufika wakati tukafanya mdahalo kwa sababu kuna binti fulani kula alitoka mm. kule ambako tuko sasa NTV mm. uh, nikafanya nika mdahalo na kichuna nikamwambia mm. mimi nimeangalia macho yangu mm. katika vyombo vyote vya habari mm. sioni mtu ambaye anaweza jaza lile pengo la yule binti hamna hamna mm. 
ile pengo wewe peke yako unaweza jaza tafuta kote huko utaona mm, mm kasema sijui kama ita nini 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 katika hicho kipindi um, akanuliza aka, aka, aka nafikiri na wewe je manake umeniambia kwamba unaomba huwa kati unataka Mungu akubadilishe msimu na nini nikamwambia kuna mazungumzo tushaanza mm. kabla ya hilo mm. lakini ulikuwa umesahau hiyo mm. december Naam. ulipitia kwangu nilikuwa nimepika mapocho pocho mm. nilikuwa napika nikamwandalia pale mahamri nini nikamfungia alikuwa ametoka kazini Naam. ukiwa kwenye gari nikakwambia unatoka. Sio mm-hmm. kama unakumbuka, mm-hmm. kwambia loft you will be transition mm-hmm. and you will be moving. Mm-hmm. Sio kama unakumbuka. Ilikuwa tu ulikuwa ninachokumbuka kwa hiyo ninaambia, mm-hmm. nafikiri uligusia kwamba na pale unapoenda mm-hmm. uh, hutaenda kwa nafasi yako. Mm-hmm. Unaenda kwa mhariri. Eh. Nikamwambia na unaenda ngazi, ngazi tofauti. Mm-hmm. Ngazi tofauti. Hilo mm-hmm. hilo nalikumbuka mm-hmm. nilitaja. Mm-hmm. Na mimi nikachukulia tu ah labda maneno yake ya kunitia moyo kwa sababu <laughs> ananiona labda napitia matatizo hapa na pale. <laughs> lakini kwake yeye anatabiri eh, aliyoyaona. Eh lakini mm-hmm. iliingiliana na maombi fulani ambayo mamake alitufanyia. Naam. Mwana kile nakumbuka corona ilipogonga mm-hmm. watu walilia sana. Naam. Na sisi pia tulikuwa miongoni wale ambao waliumia. Kwanza tukakatwa mishahara. Naam alafu tukapitia kipindi ambacho hujielewi utafutwa kazi lini Naam. Paka tukaanza kutunga nyimbo za corona. Hiyo siku tulikatwa eh. mishahara mm. ndo watu walikumbuka kumbe niko na talanta, eh. mwingine akasema kumbe niko na skill tofauti. Mm. You know some things I think you, lazima binadamu utingizwe kidogo ndo ukumbuke kwamba kuna vitu kuna uwezo fulani ambao uko nao. Kabisa. Tulipata barua ya kukatwa mishahara jioni tulikuwa kwa Saint P tukaenda kutoka wimbo. wimbo wa corona mm. ule we corona bas wasane watu wajui ni frustration wimbo ulitoka siku ya kupata barua ya wimbo watu walikaa newsroom ilikuwa asilimia ngapi ya msaa 25 sijui eh mm. mtu anaangalia nini nimekatwa mshahara ah. na sasa hiyo si yetu unapata mamilioni mm. ambao haitakushtua mm. tayari mshahara wako na kubambanya mm. alafu umekuja ukapunguzwa mm. ah unakumbuka Mungu alinipa kipaji sasa tukasema hapa ni ni uimbaji pekee yake utatoa kwa kumbuka kipaji simu Saint P huko yeah. nyumbani yeah. eh twaja tuko njiani tuko na nini tuko na wimbo yeah. <laughs> akaenda tukamwambia utachukua utachukua rap wewe atakuwa na nini atakuwa na maneno lyrics yeah. yeah. Sasa unaenda kudunge huko. Tulijua tu tutatoka kwa nyumba ya Saint P na, na wimbo. wimbo. Tumeingia bila lakini tunatoka na wimbo. Kufika sasa ikabidi tujigawanye. Kwa sababu ya mm. Saint P ni kaka yetu mkubwa sana. Kabisa. Eh. Mimi loft ulienda msalani. Mimi ligia msalani. Mimi ingia msalani. Nenda kutunga kifungu changu. Choni yani. Mm, Naikweli. Mimi nikaenda jikoni. Mm. Ah, Saint P akabaki sijui studio. Alibaki studio wewe ukaenda jikoni. Ye, kila mm. mtu dakika kumi. Aje na aje na kifungu chake. Enda utunge. Enda tukatunga wimbo. Na tukatunga. Bas sasa hiyo hiyo siku siku iliyofuata mm. uh, mama akatupigia simu mm-hmm. kutujulia hali na tukamwambia hali zilivyo mm. akasema nawaombea watoto wangu mm. um, kilichofanyika mm. kinawatayarisha kwa makubwa mm. wow. e, na anaenda kufanyika msiwe na wasiwasi wow. Bas wow. tukapiga maombi akasema tafungeni macho tuombe tukaomba mm. kwenye simu mm. wow. na haikuchukua muda haikuchukua muda haikuchukua muda wow. e, lakini sasa kulikuwa na kizungumkuti <laughs> e, kabla sisi tutoke sasa tuingie NTV uh-huh. kwa sababu mimi nilimwambia nimefanywa mazungumzo kwanza mm. alafu kidogo kidogo akaniambia alafu pia mimi nimepigwa simu mm. e, nimepigwa simu so ikawa nyoto wawili mepokea e, simu e, e. aha nimepokea simu naam Um, huenda nikienda kujaza pengo la yule binti uliyoniambia ametoka. Nikamwambia sawa pia mimi nasubiri, mwanake pia mimi sikwambia nilipata simu, hata mm. nimeambua nipeleke, sitaka badhi zangu nimpeleka. Kaka ka, sasa kawa naweza umefikishwa wapi? Nikamwambia nimepigwa simu ya pili. Na ambao imebaki ya tatu. Uh-huh. Kuna nyingine moja tu imebaki. Eh, moja sasa ni msimamizi wa wafanyikazi, tuzungumze tuelewane maswala ya mshahara. Mm. Uh, basi hiyo simu ya tatu ndio ilikaa. Aha. Uh-huh ilikaa yake ya pili ikaingia na ya tatu ikaingia kama bado na ngoja yake ya tatu ya tatu point ile point moja hii simu yake ya tatu iliingia ikaingia ya nne paka wakaelewana mshahara paka ikaingia barua aka sign na ngoja simu yangu ya tatu ya tatu moja bado imekwama ye kandarasi ya sauti ya sahihi akaenda sasa ah alipokuwa kwanza kuvuka 
alipopata fununu eh, lakini tulivuka kuna mengi ambao hakikuzungumza hewani hakikuzungumza hewani lakini nakumbuka na, na kitu ambacho alikuja kuniambia mm. alipokwenda sasa kwenda kupatua kandarasi kabla ya sign mm. akaja kuniambia mm. Uh, hii kandarasi hainstahili. Mm. Hey, Aka nikamwambia kwa nini ah. akanambia mimi afadhali nikupe wewe. Mm. I, I was hey. willing to let go of my country. kandarasi wow. afadhali nikupe wewe uende kwa sababu naona ina nafasi na kufaa wewe. Wewe unaweza enda kuwafanya mambo mengi zaidi ambayo mimi sitaweza kuyafanya. Na nikamwambia hapana, hiyo ni riziki yako. Yaani you are willing to give hey. up. Yeah. Nikamwambia alinishangaza no, sana. Till end. Yeah. Mwisho kabisa nikamwambia kwanza si katika mamlaka yako wewe kwenda kubadilisha kandarasi yako iwe yangu hata kama umesikia fununu kwamba amezungumza nami na umeenda ukakutajia kwamba kulikuwa nao mazungumzo sasa mimi nikapokea paka simu nikaambiwa wamebadilishania mm. e, na sasa hawa kumaanisha watu hakuendelee kumaanisha labda ilikuwa ni mm. sasa uh, nakamwambia wewe bana hebu unaenda ukafanye kazi e, mimi sina sasa hiyo ikakuwa ngumu sana kwako e. Sasa ikawa hivyo hao mengine ni siri siri hatuwezi kuzungumza zaidi. Eh, eh. Lakini kuna mengi kama anavyosema mm. zungumzia mm. na hapo ndo urafiki wa kweli pia unaingiliana. Mm. Lakini cha msingi kabisa na hivi ndo mimi na Loft hupigana na vita vyetu mm. magoti. Mm. Kwa zinakumbuka kama kuna message very emotional Loft ya Shane andikia. Mm. Ni hicho kipindi ambacho mimi namwambia kwangu mambo yameenda shwari. Mm kwake bado mambo yamekwama mm. alafu sasa ikakuwa ni yani amekwama sasa sasa tushajua hauitajua ndio amesema waendelee na hiyo na mimi mm. I'm willing mm. maka ina, inajulikana mpaka mm. na wadosi kwamba mimi mm. I'm willing to let go mm. kaambia stack mm. I do not deserve this mm. I think Lofty deserves it mm. they know me nimekaa KTN 2 and a half years mm. huyu amekaa miaka saba. Mm. kwa hivyo ako na ujuzi mwingi zaidi mm. na pia wakati huo ilikuwa ni season ya Lofty kutoka mm. hata mimi season yangu nilikuwa najisikia nilikuwa namwambia tu si kama kuna ka transition mm, eh, lakini mm, sikaelewe elewi mm, lakini ye eh, kabisa you know when your season comes ndo unajua kabisa nataka mtia. kwenda neema mm, nyingine tofauti mm, imefika mm, so nikajihisi i don't deserve this mm, nakumbuka tukasema sasa vita vyetu ni vya magoti mm, nakusema leo kweli sisi kuingia NTV mm, si kwa sababu ya nguvu zetu mm, ni Mungu mm, hatukupigania ile nafasi Mungu mwenyewe ndo alifungua ile nafasi. Mm. Na Mungu akisema ni wakati wako, mm. hauna budi ila kusema ndio. Mm. Na sita kudanganya confusion huo inakuja mm. kwa sababu saile sote wawili tuliandika kandarasi tukatia saini. Mm. Kwingine kukaanza pia kufunguka. Funguka. Sasa simu zapigwa. Na kulikuwa kumenyamaza kabla hey, hey. kufikia hapa. <laughs> Lakini sasa tumepiga saini probation. Yes. Sasa simu ndo zapigwa. Wanasema njooni. Eh njooni mm. huku njooni kule. Eh. Kwa hivyo huwa pia ni, wa, ni vizuri sana ku, ku, kuwa macho sana mm. kuangalia confusion. Mm. Is, is na hiyo confusion. How, did, how do you handle those confusion moments? Remember guys, kuna kitu nimesema, mm. Lofty and I talk. Mm. And Lofty and I listen to authority. Mm. And Lofty and I listen to God. Mm. Kwa sababu wakati, mimi do nili tangulia kidogo, mm ilibidi ni mgoje kwa sababu alikuwa lazima amalize notisi yake upande ule mwingine mm. kwa hivyo singeenda hewani mm. kabla yake kabidi mm. ni mgoje mm. hata katika hiyo harakati mm. bado unaitwa kwingine <laughs> na unajua hapa tunazungumzia tuna hela mm. unaambiwa tutakupatia mara tatu ama mara nne zaidi ya kila ambacho unapatiwa hapa mm. na ndio maana vijana tunataka kuambia si kila kitu unachofanya katika hichi dunia mm. kwa sababu ya hela mm. ingekuwa ni hela de no mm. sometimes you can be confused mm. kwa sababu kama ni offers tumezipata mm. na mm. haimaanishi kwamba tumefika NTV mm. labda na hat, hatu tumefika kabisa hatujui Mungu anatupeleka wapi mm. lakini kweli. pia mm. sauti soma mingi, majira mm. soma majira mm. Ndiyo zilikuja mm. ofa zilikuja mm. lakini tulijua kwa sasa tunahitaji si majira ya mm. si majira yako mm. na wakati wetu kama utawahi fika mm. wa sisi kutoka NTV tutajua mm. and it will, will be very we will know mm. because we are children of God right tutajua right lakini kelele pia ziko hapo ilibidi tuchukue kichungi sababu tulikuwa tunazungumza mm. kabisa unaangalia hizi hela unasema eh Utavutia kweli? Hata tusajenga nyumba Dubai. <laughs> Lakini sasa si wakati wetu. Mm, kabisa. Kwa hivyo na, na anavyosema ni ukweli maana hela zinakanganya na mm. zinachanganya. Mm. Na ndio maana napenda na hichi kipindi chako mm. you know, mm. the gold mine mm. kwa sababu mm. uh, 
dhahabu si pesa. Mm. Ni kito, ni madini ya thamani mm. ambayo ukiyapata hayo mm. aliye na fedha mm. shauri yake. Mm. Mm. Kwa hivyo ni, 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 ni kitu macho kinafungua watu macho mm. kwamba hawa watu wanaozungumza wako na fedha. Sisi si, si mabilionea mm. ba. Mm. Lakini kuna kitu ambacho Mungu alitia ndani yetu mm. kupitia talanta, mm. kupitia kipaji, kupitia mm. safari yetu ambayo inaweza tia mtu moyo manake mabilioni hatuna ya kugawanya mm. eh, lakini lakini ulicho nacho kabisa mm. na ni sawa na wewe kaka mm. kabisa U, labda hutajitokeza useme unaita watu kama wanasiasa kuwaganya lakini unaleta marafiki ambao wanaweza kuzungumza kitu kiwatie watu moyo na sisi kabisa. pia tumeangalia hivyo je ni fedha mm. ambayo tunatuangalia vile vidato unakuwa namna gani mm. katika majira gani mm. Mm. Na, na, na mambo ya majira tukimalizia na, na sijui kama tumaliza mara tano ama sita lakini tutamalizia hapa poa ba sana <laughs> Unajua yo, yo, yo mambo ya majira mm. kuweza kupamanywa kwamba huu ni wakati ya hiki mm. na sio kile mm. na ingawa kile chavutia mm. najua ni afaniwe hapo mm. it, it's all of those things that you say it's easier said than done mm. true mm. it's easier said than done mm. and, and just being able to build the capacity mm. to either design the times that you're in mm. and be able to make them the prudent decision that says mm. my time for now mm. the season is this mm. and no matter how attractive that is mm. That's not for now. Mm. How have you been able just to build that up? That says, yep, I can design this is what it is for the now. Uh, the no, for us, I think, um, like Frida said, the friendship, mm. it is very important for somebody to have another person who is closer to them mm. that they can share and mm. seek advice. Nakumbuka kitabu cha matendo ya mitume mlango wa pili mm. kuna kitu Yesu Kristo alipokuwa anapaa juu aliwaambia wanafunzi wake mm. aliwaambia kaeni chumba cha juu mm. mumege mkate pamoja mm. mshiriki neno mm. paka nitakapowaletea ishara ndo mtoke muingie Judea Samaria kote mkahubiri mm. Hakuwa mtu mmoja pale katika kila chumba, kile chumba. Mm. Labda angekuwa mmoja angeshindwa kungoja na angekosa kusoma majira mm. walikuwa wote mm paka walipoletewa ndimi za moto mm. ndo wakajua ah ndo wakati ndo ishara hii mm. kwa hivyo sisi tusaidiana kuambiana mm. wewe unaona nini ndo time mm. ah mm. unaona hiki ndo cha kufanya mm. ah mm. kwa hivyo saa zingine watu wanakwenda peke yao mm. kuna msemo kule kwetu tunasema mm. mwenda pekee mtoni ni mchawi mm. enda na wamama mm. wenzako bana <laughs> unaenda <unezenda> shikwa <laughs> Unaenda <laughs> kingo hata na unyasi wa nguke useme mm. umerogwa kumbe ni wewe mwenyewe umetereza ulikuwa peke yako bana eh? kwa hivyo ni vizuri kuwa na watu ambao pia unawasikiza ukipata mm. usiambie kila mtu mm. lakini kuna yule mmoja ambaye ni msiri wako mm. ya confident mm. unamwambia jameni mm. niko na hili na hili na hili unaonaje mm. msikize pia atakachokuambia eh, usio mjua jua yote mm. kwa sababu sisi yote tisa ndio tunazungumza mm. lakini watu wasema sasa tupeleke kwa Mungu mm. sometimes you can also be confused mm. maka tuko zile za hey, Mungu kwa sure tunaachilia hii alafu mm. tukuje ku regret mm. but yeye mwenyewe anatupatia peace of mind and peace of heart mm. so kile naweza sema kwa sasa as we are peaceful right. where we are right now we yep. are at peace right. Uh, and we are ready for the next assignment if the next assignment is ntv nakumbuka nilitabiri kwamba atakuwa mhariri mm. he came to ntv and pass. he's an editor right. na kuna mengi zaidi ambayo tumetabiri mm. na amenitabiria nikamtabiria mm. kwa hivyo ni mapenzi yangu kuona kwamba anazidi kungaa mm. najua ni mapenzi yake kuniona mimi anazidi kungaa we do not compete right. me and lofty right. we don't we just right. compliment each other right. ni, ni nafikiri right. na, kitu mimi kuna mtu aliniuliza kitu kuhusu mm. Uh, kuhusu huyu binti mm. uh, akaniambia um, siri ya yule 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 Frida nini maana tumeangalia trajectory yake mm. kutoka KTN paka pale mm. kuna watu wengi sana ambao wamemtangulia lakini amekuwa kwa kasi sana mm. Mm. na nikamwambia na siwezi kuficha kuzungumza mbele yake kwamba kama kuna mtu ambaye haogopi kuuliza kitu asichokijua mm. ni Frida mm. na huwa ananifanya napata fahari sana kwa sababu akiniuliza kitu mm. kwa mfano anaambia loft naenda hewani mm. kipindi changu ni cha kuhusiana wa mama mm. unaona ni anzeje mm. ni anze na msemo gani mm. ama ni anze na metali gani mm. nitafikiria nikimpatia msemo ama metali mm. atakavyoutoa mm. atanifanya kesho akiniuliza nimpe mwingine mm. ata deliver kabisa unaona mm. yani paka niseme kama ningeusema mimi mwenyewe mbili kwa naujua singeutoa kama yeye eh. eh. kabisa kwa hivyo ni, ni, ni mtu ambaye ana, ana haogopi kuuliza mm. haogopi kuambiwa yuasumbua mm. na nafikiri hiyo labda kama hajui ndio sira ambayo imemfanya amekuwa paka hapa alipofika mm. sababu kuna wengine huwa wanaingia ama na kiburi ama uoga mm. 
Oje pia ukiwa na mtu ambaye unamfunza na hafunziki pia achosha. Hata achosha. Unamuonyesha mm. vitu lakini haashiki ha achosha. Mm. Eh. Mm. Kwa hivyo ale kuna kuna wakati nafikiri kika unakumbuka kichuna alikuwa anakuonyesha video zako za taarifa zako za kwanza ukisoma tunaangalia na hapa ulipo na ina inatia moyo mm. unaona safari imechafa inajaza yani kuona huyu ndio alikuwa anasoma kista sita mm. sasa hivi anatiririka hey, sio nilikuwa eh. nasema kundradhi baada ya kila sentence eh, kundradhi <laughs> kundradhi <laughs> <laughs> my first bulletin <laughs> right. nishinda kutoka studio right. ni anaogopa kitoka watu watamwambiaje pale newsroom mm. eh. kwa hivyo al, alipofika mm. na mshabikia na mfurahia na mkongoea kwa sababu imekuwa safari ambayo kuna tunda unaweza onyesha kwamba mm-hmm. hili ndo tunda mbao mm-hmm. lipo mm-hmm. na linazidi kuna wili heko Kabisa. mama hata mimi naungana na kusema heko <laughs> 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 my good friends you know it's difficult to finish this conversation yeah. because man i mean you guys are rich your journey is just amazing hata tujaingia pale kwa mambo kadha eh atujaingia mali kadha and i must say man i came to i came to city lights and just watched you just worshiping and i was like man yani a guy who is way up there can still kneel before god and you know in your industry sometimes fame can take the better part of you and i think uh, you talked about it earlier and, and i must just say it's such a blessing man i mean you leading worship and do, leading all the stuff that you do i must say it it, it is such a blessing to find people so accomplished yet so grounded and still very determined to remain in God's house mm. and serve mm. and fight an identity from it mm. i think it just blesses me and also heart. thank you to our spiritual authority yep. pastor george right. ah he keeps us in check right keeps us in check yep we are tatagonganisha hapo mbele atasema vitu mpaka unasema mungu ni samehe dhambi zangu unaanza kutubu so thank you so much no, he's an amazing, George, man. Yeah. amazing man amazing man of god i'm i'm honored to call him a friend of mine as well mm-hmm. um and the amazing work he's doing at city lights we, we've got to agree on one thing guys man we didn't finish and we can't finish no? <laughs> And uh, at the beginning of the show we said we were only going to do 45 minutes. Mm. Yeah. We can leave it at this 44th minute. Mm. And uh, and and pick it up from there so that we can do it. Malizia Swahili. Malizia yeah, Swahili. Ile point moja. Ile dakika moja hiyo. Dakika moja. Dakika moja ndabakisha dakika moja ile. No. Ni sema asante. Asante. Ukweli ni kwamba hatujamaliza. Lakini lazima pia tutengeneze nafasi ya hilo lingine. Maana kitu tutarudi na ni sema asante ni sana. Mumekuwa baraka. You've been an inspiration. Na wengi wana watazamia. Kitambo liko nasema kwamba unamtazamia lofty, lakini ujue kwamba kuna wengi sasa pia vile vile mm. wanakutazamia. Mm-hmm. Na tunasema kongole bana. We are proud of you. We are proud of what you guys are doing, man. We are proud of what you're doing. And just to see guys straight strong, just doing beautiful things like you're doing. Man, you put a smile on my face while ah. I. <laughs> wow. Well, folks, man. Uh. It's been a difficult soul to bring to an end because great conversations man you don't even know where time goes you just enjoy every bit of the conversation and of course you can tell man too much you enjoy too much you enjoy tena sana man it's just been an amazing an amazing conversation hanging out with the amazing lofty naki chuna mwenyewe the duo the duo the amazing duo your my favorite on like air this, couple you know <laughs> <laughs> your favorite on air couple lofty and kichuna herself i mean this has been absolutely brilliant and i hope that you've been able to pick a couple of things that truly truly remind you man you can be all you could ever want to be you want to i mean we we heard about vices like pride na eh ilikuwa kiburi na na wivu man achana na hayo tafadhali man achana na hayo this is not a competition between this and that man we can all grow and there is space for all of us to thrive and to become all that we must become nimesikia mambo ya kwamba kufunzwa funzika tafadhali maono kuwa na maono lofty alisema kwamba alianza kuandika akiwa primary school man wewe bado sijui kama umeanza kuandika lakini ninunua kitabu man big ni shilingi 15 andika tafadhali don't ever trust your memory sometimes ya ndike tafadhali and even wa ikiana ni kama inaenda sega mnega kidogo hey. keep your eye my oh, friend kwenye ma you know when i'm hanging out with us really alright kiana sega mnega mwiko saa zingine navunjika lakini sio mwisho wa kupika ugali kwa hiyo kazana 
Hapo sasa. Sije kama ndo pata kazi kwenye Kiswahili ama itakuwaje. Lakini ndugu yangu dada yangu. Kuna makundi ndani yako. Na hivyo basi don't you quit. Don't you give up. Keep working on the greatness that you are. And I want to become and I want to remain, remain the voice of reminding you that you are a gold mine. And the last thing you'll ever want to do is to quit on you, is to give up on you. Keep it going. Keep it going. It may have a turn, it may have a twist. But keep the focus, my friend. Rudi kwa ile kitabu angalia ulisema ulitaka kuwa wapi. Tafta rafiki moja wa wili ambao watakushikilia kwenye hii safari. Maana safari ni refu. Usiende peke yako tafadhali. Chukua moja ambaye mtakazana pamoja naye, mtaomba naye, mtaamini pamoja. And then sure that then you never quit, man. I mean I I feel so inspired. I could go on and on having hang out with this amazing duo, my friend. Amazing duo and I don't know we're going to have them right back on the go man. So unfortunately that's about all the time we had. And we want to keep reminding you man keep following us on the Gold Mine show on Facebook on Instagram on YouTube on TikTok my friend and let's keep building a great community that believes in our greatness and the collective greatness inside of us until next time god bless you keep being the greatness that you are and once again thank you lofty na shukran asante sana frida utaitika hatujavunja bilauri tuzivunje no sisi ha check you out oh that was so much fun yeah.